everyone and welcome to Wildlife Park 2! So you guys have voted and this is our game of the month to try out and I have actually had this game for a long time now. The Wonderful Darling contributed it to my Steam library quite a while ago. And we have Wildlife Park, we have the Domestic Pets DLC, we've got the Farm Edition, we've got the Dinosaurs, the Unicorn and Dragon version, we've got the Marine version, we've got uh, the Crazy Zoo version, so basically everything Wildlife Park 2 related we have but this is the very very first time I've ever played already I'm really like I'm really intrigued because I thought this was like a pre-recorded little render thing but I'm beginning to realize that these like are kind of sample models look at them <gasps> look at them oh my gosh there's a termite mound in the distance and here's a little zebra and I saw two flamingos flying around that waterfall oh my gosh so this is my very first time playing wildlife park 2 as you know we are on a mission to do as many of the animal and zoo and plant and nature sort of related games as possible in our constant quest to discover more about the natural world through the medium of video games look at him look at him ah oh, he's so cool Ah, oh, there's my pink one. Oh, that looks like a really cool rock. It makes me want to, I, I want to like run over there and see if I can harvest gems out of it, to be honest. But this is the very first time I've played. Oh my gosh, and the clouds just got dark. I am way too easily amused already. Very first time I've played. We're going to load up a mission. So hopefully it will guide us through some of the settings. Oh my goodness, it's raining! Oh! <gasps> some of the settings and how to play and things like that. So there's a ton of different missions that come with the base game and then with all the expansions. We're probably gonna do the Source of Life um, mission and it looks like the weather is nice and sunny. Tells us about the temperature, which I assume is probably in Celsius. Uh, tells you your starting money. Find the source of life and lead the animals to this place. Learn how easy it is to work with the game controls and gather first experience in landscape design. So that sounds like something we need to do. Kind of like your basic 101 tutorial thing. There's also help Unka feel better. Help an injured jaguar back on its feet and prepare the animal for a life in the wilderness. In doing so, you'll learn how to train animals and satisfy their needs. Oh my gosh a call from home assist your family in Sweden yay I didn't know you had family in Sweden awesome help them save their little animal park from bankruptcy open the park for visitors and construct important facilities in the park in this mission you will gather first important information on how to satisfy the needs of your park visitors Ooh, and look there's a thunderstorm in this one that's so cool and famine in Arabia save your friends animals from starving to death as a development aid volunteer in Arabia oh my goodness so there's a wide variety we've got kind of the more traditional like guest and park things we've got like your rescue animal missions we've got your really dramatic missions and we've got your basic things so we're gonna work on some of these looks like there's pandas in need help from a specialist the petting zoo the monster crocodile all sorts of things escape from the gene lab oh my gosh Ooh, Dubai Ice Age oh my goodness the missing fawn <gasps> Oh, and then there's the crazy zoo, which I think includes like a lot of clown things. There's horses. So we do have the stables and the horses and the riding um, bit in Wildlife Park 2 as well. And what else do we have here? Save the narwhal, the marine adventure, shark, shark attack in paradise, the great reef. Oh my gosh, construction project at the mega park, sea monster park. Oh my goodness. We've also got Farm World. I forgot to mention that to you guys. There's Farm World, there's cows and chickens. Oh, you know how much I love farming games. And Dino World. So Dino World is in here. I have no idea where the like fantasy stuff is, but we're gonna start here. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's a cockatoo. The flamingos, gorilla. Look at all of them, giraffe. You were sweating and moving frantically when the dream <laughs> you out of your sleep. Okay. You were confused for a moment. Disoriented, but the sun Can I make him stop talking? Its long rays through the entrance of your quarter. It is the center of the reserve in the heart of Africa. The dream has led you to your father. My father mysteriously disappeared one year ago. He used to spend nights in the library. Um, I will find the prehistoric well, even if I'm only the, the only one. Okay, so apparently my father, like, ran off. Okay. These poor animals will have to die if you do what? not help them. I don't want the bongos to die. To move, simply move the mouse to the edge of the herd of bongos. No, I don't want to replay the Okay, okay. So we need to we need to move around. Okay. Oh! <gasps> 
look at this place. Then continue, and as soon as you discover one of the animals, okay. select it with a mouse click. Okay, so we need to find some Bonobo, apparently. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's can I do this? Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so the settings are a little interesting. Here's a little path. Wow. Hello. Oh no, they're dying. <gasps> they seem so sad. Am I here? Okay, we need to come over and we need to select one of these guys. And apparently that'll make them better. Very good. Every time you select an animal, you see important... In fact, sir... I really appreciate your, like, your assistance. No, sir. I'm, I'm good, sir. Help, help. Sound speech volume. Ah, oh, we did it. Okay, so first things, no! <laughs> I think I forgot to save the settings. There we go, that's better. Very good. Every time you select an animal, you can see important information concerning the animal's current state being displayed. Uh, let's select him. Help, I'm dying of thirst. Help, I'm starving. Oh my gosh. Okay. You can see the animal's very hungry. They're herbivores, which means they need green plants. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Oh, look, some, some foraging plants. Do I just throw it on the ground? Uh, and then I just like, there we go. You are a quick learner, however, unfortunately, the, bon the bonagos are not saved yet. They still need water to drink. Oh, look, 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 they're already coming over to get food. Somebody told you there is a small well nearby. Maybe, perhaps you can hear it. Try to find the water and then select it. All right, so um, that's where we came from, I think. And then I think that's the well right over here. That's my guess. Can I get over there? All right, so I think we have to climb up here. Nope, can't climb up here. Hang on, Bonobos. Hey, little guy, go get, go get some of the food. Go get some of the food with everybody else. Okay, so we push our way through the gate. Oh my gosh, this is like a whole different level. I feel like I'm on some sort of really... Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> I found the water! Yes! Okay, good. Small well. Okay. Max zoom out. Oh, there we go. Um, okay. So we can zoom in. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Okay. The Bonagos are really bound to die of thirst if we do not find a solution soon. Somehow we have to get the water down to the Bonobos. What a good thing it would be that we have the tools to help on the landscape. <gasps> it's our trusty shovel! Oh, if our intern was here. Now the rest is up to you. Will you manage to bring the water down to the Bonobos with the help of these tools? Okay, I can do this. I got this. Oh, look at it. That's really cool, actually. Hey, you guys. Hey! Okay, let's not flood your area. Um, oh dear. Can I, can I stop it from, like, pouring down? Okay, there we go. Once you've done that, all you have to do is wait until the Bonagos have quenched their thirst. <gasps> okay, you guys, what do you think? Now I need to get down. Oh, that's that easy to get back on the ground. Okay. Oh, look, 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 look! They're quenching their thirst, you guys! Oh, whoa! Okay, whoops. Easy there, little Bonobo. Easy there. You doing okay? You doing okay, buddy? They don't make a lot of noise, these guys. Congratulations! You have saved the Bonobo's lives. Now we can sit back and think about how to create a natural habitat for the antelopes. You should remove the dry branches near the Bonobo so they have more space to move. You can move the objects with the boulder. Okay, so we're gonna come and let's do this. And by the way, you can also undo your last actions. <gasps> There we go. And redo it. Did you see? Now everything is back to normal, the way it was. Okay, now enough playing around. The Bonobos would like to live in their natural habitat. Find the suitable plants for them in the tool area near plants. All right, the Hookthorn Acacia. And apparently they'll forge from it. Are you, are you for real? Are you for real? Oh my gosh. I want them to forge from this. Okay, and I guess, I guess this is like too dry or something. All right, how many trees? Four trees should suffice for the bonobos. That way they'll have enough to eat even in the future. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Yellow arrows above the animals show the animal is not fully satisfied. Same applies for plants. Select one of the trees. Oh, I have to make my trees happy. Oh my gosh, it's something new. In the bottom right, you can see what the plant requires. This tree does not seem to like the hard ground. Give me softer ground, it says. Oh my goodness, the details. Plants are life forms, just like animals, and they have their own needs and things they demand from their environment. Temperature, watering, and the condition of the soil play an important role when it comes to plants' levels of satisfaction. In the 
tools area, we can go to grounds, and this is peat right here. And place the peat directly under the tree and watch how it affects the plants. All right, I'm going to make sure I go to all of them. Great work! The yellow arrow above the animals has disappeared, and the plants seem to be flourishing under optimum conditions. Are they? Hey, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you a happy plant? I'm doing well. <laughs> That's what the tree says. Oh, and if you're not sure about something, you can always check your current progress in the mission down here. So here's our mission. Yay! Alright, find the source of life and lead the waters to this place. Learn how easy... Yep, okay, so we're doing it. Very good. Next thing you should do is satisfy the bongos. Make them totally happy. In the meanwhile, you have to find out what else they're lacking. So, oh my gosh, there's poop already. <gasps> there's poop that needs scooped. Do I do that? Do I, like, come down here and... Do I, do I take care of that? I guess I just sold the droppings. Oh my gosh, and they, they're like, oh, there's more droppings. Okay. It has a little bit of value. Can I, like, refill this? I don't want to, like, empty it. I want to refill it. Okay, so let's figure out what they're doing. I need minerals. Please give me softer ground. <gasps> That's so interesting that they're, like, into the ground quality. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. And everywhere in our little Bonobo area, I'm going to come in, put down the peat. Which I think actually, hopefully that'll help. Is that softer ground? I need minerals. Okay, what can I get for you in terms of minerals? Also, one second, guys. I think there's trying to be music. But I'm not sure. Alright, so we have a drinking trough. Oh, yes. And then we've got minerals. There we go. So let's put some minerals down. And do I need to, like, can I refill it? How do I refill my little thing so they have food? How do I make it so there's more food? <gasps> Here they come! Oh, look at them! Look at them go! Oh my gosh, they're so cool! No, stop trying to load things. Alright, one second. It's just figuring out like all the little, the little details. Well, I'll work on that later. I'll work on that later. I'm trying to take pictures and it's conflicting with my loady thing. Oh, I wonder if I can get the, um, I wonder if I can get that pile of sticks out of here. Can I remove you? Nope. Can't work over there yet. Oh, grody! There's a bunch of flies around the droppings. How do I clean that up? Congratulations! You have saved the bongos. And you have provided them with a habitat in which they feel safe and satisfied. Select my next mission if you would like to continue with the next mission. Um, well, I guess we will. Because I think that's when we'll learn about, like, how to do other things. But yay, bongos! I'm glad they're happy. Man, guys, we're already moving to the next mission. Yay! Due to your job, you see a lot of the world. Aside from you, there are only a few biologists, yep, that's me, interested in wild animals since there's only very few species left on Earth. That does make you quite proud, but on the other hand, it makes you think. Will humanity ever be able to provide a habitat for all animals where they can live in peace and happiness? Upon arriving in the small camp in the middle of the Brazilian jungle, two gatekeepers come running towards you, pleading for help. They have brought an injured jaguar to the camp and are quite concerned about the state of its health. It looks like the animal was chased by villagers. Presumably, the jaguar was in search of prey, since it's, not, it, since it's natural preying grounds no longer exist. All right, little one, we will help you. All right. The gatekeepers named the injured jaguar Onka. They have already brought the cat to an enclosure. However, there's a hole in the fence. Oh my gosh, look at him. There's a huge hole in the fence, you guys. Make haste and fix the hole to ensure the animal cannot escape and harm anyone in the surrounding area. Oh, it's already moving. Okay, let's come over here. There we go. You are a good handyman. By the way, you can always close the current construction menu uh, if it's in your way by pressing this mouse button. Uh, that mouse button? Is it this mouse button? No, that's icons. Uh, oh, the right mouse button. I see. Good thing that the Brazilian authorities have provided a small budget. Therefore, it will be helpful to call a good veterinarian. <gasps> I can hire a vet? Come here, doctor. And he has $20,000. That, uh, that is probably pretty fair. Oh my gosh, that's because we're building a whole building. That's why. Select a vet and place his or her, her quarters outside of the enclosure. To be sure the jaguar has enough free space. It will be necessary later on. Well, I'm not going to stick the vet like right inside the jaguar enclosure. Every time you select a personnel building, you can see a line drawn around the employee's current work area. This means... Okay, so I like right here. This means the areas, or is it this big line? I'm not sure. Uh, 
are colored red. Oh, oh, so the outside areas are colored red. Okay. You will be able to change the size of a work area later on by selecting the building. After all, you don't want to burden your, overburden your employees. To ensure that your employees can enter and leave an enclosure anytime, you should always include gates near fences. Yep. That sounds like a reasonable thing to do. So we need to put a gate for personnel in here. Let's go ahead and put one right there. Very good. That should do the job. Of course, you may place multiple gates in one fence. Uh, uh, as long as there's enough space between the posts. Hopefully, the vet will take care of the jaguar shortly. You can sit back now and watch the ja jaguar's satisfaction levels increase. <gasps> look, look, look. Here comes the vet. Here comes the vet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got magic healing touch hands. Magic healing touch hands. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And we can watch the satisfaction level increase on the animal. Um... Oh, 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 look, look, look. Average animal satisfaction is now up to 35%. The jaguar is back on its feet, but he's incredibly hungry. You should consider asking a keeper for help in dealing with such dangerous and noble, such a dangerous and noble wild animal. You can find keepers under personnel. So here's a keeper. He's only $4,000. Place the keeper's house outside of the enclosure, somewhere close to the enclosure gate. Okay, so he actually, oh, he has a cool little house too. Oh, so cool. I'm going to put him back here behind our gardener. I think this is a gardener. Yeah, it's a gardener. Wonderful. Now Unka will receive a large portion of fresh and healthy meat so she can grow healthy and strong after the trouble she has been through. And you can be sure she's even happier once she has been eaten. Or once she has eaten, not been eaten. Oh my gosh, Siri. So let's walk around a little bit. I kind of want to like look around. This is interesting. Oh, who are you? There's another person over here. So this is a handyman. I assume he fixes things. Um, there's Oh, there's a restroom. Okay, and what's this? <gasps> it's a cabbage plant. Can you like do something? A food source? Oh my gosh, you can get like vegetables. You can grow your own vegetables and things like that. Uncle, are you going to be more satisfied? You've got some food now. Ooh, zoom in a little bit too close. There we go. There we go. Now we back up a little bit. Look down. Oh, look at you. Oh, she's so pretty. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I will be tweaking my controls a little bit. We need to cheer the jaguar up a bit. The best thing would be to offer her something to get her moving around. Click on the jaguar and you should see that she wants to pants, pounce around. I would like to swim a bit. I would like to jump over a hurdle. <gasps> okay, so we can give her, oh, a stone and it'll help her give her something to jump over. I like it. I'm gonna put a couple of them down. Wait and see what happens to the animal satisfaction level. Oh, look at how fast she's going up on satisfaction. I can't do anything about the water to help her swim yet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, did you guys see that? That was an amazing jump. Good job, Onka. Oh, look at her. She's enjoying having an enrichment item. That is so fun. Oh, wow. Onka's level of satisfaction actually increased. That is because she was able to satisfy her urge to pounce around the stone. Each individual species has different needs in terms of their urge to move around. Among the enclosure extras, you will also find something suitable to satisfy each current need. As a biologist, you are surely aware that jaguars are very good swimmers. They can even take up a, flight, uh, take up a fight with dangerous water snakes. Perhaps your lady jaguar could use a bath? Select the water pump to the left of the enclosures. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this thing over here. Okay. The symbol above the pump shows that the water pump is still closed. Oh, so this is how you would like get the water into the enclosure in the first place. Wonderful. The bath is running. Now let's wait and see what Onka thinks about that. The animals will explore their habitat by themselves. However, you can always help a little bit by placing Onka in the water. Okay. All right. We're just going to dunk the... Dunk the um, oh, 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 I think she's going to beat us to it, though. Oh, look at her. Is she swimming or is she just jumping around? Look, the still fence has different, like, stability levels. I would like to swim around. Please give me softer ground. How do I pick her up and move the animal with the respective buttons? I pick her up. And, oh, here we go. Onka, enjoy. Splash. Are you enjoying your little swim? Is that deep enough water? I hope that wasn't like upsetting and traumatic for you. 
up. Her satisfaction level has gone up. Please give me softer ground. I totally would if I could. Okay. Put her back in the water. Let her swim a little bit. A small storm is approaching. Not very unusual around here. We have to build a shelter for the jaguar. What will we have? What do we have in store? Oh my goodness. <gasps> she gets a little cave. She gets a little stone cave, you guys. Jaguars love rock caves. They feel safe in caves. Oh my gosh, there's lightning. They feel safe in caves and can rest there when they need to regain their strength. Where would you like to place Onkin's new home? When placing the shelter, always make sure there's enough space between other enclosure extras. Otherwise, you might block the path for animals and your employees. All right, there we go. We got a little rock cave put down. I don't like the water. Oh, come here, sweetie. I am doing well. Come here. Let's put you down here. Let's see if the jaguar accepts its new rock cave. In any event, it's important that the shelter is not too large. Oops. <gasps> Great. The wild cow is now purring like a kitten. You seem to be good friends with Onka in the meanwhile, but she is still a wild animal that grew up in the wilderness. I really love how they're like making that clear to us because that's very important to remember. Uh, we should train her in strength and persistence. Again, special instruments are available for this purpose. I bet you already have an idea of where you can find them. Ooh, enclosure extras. Okay, so we're going to give her a boxing machine so that she can work up her strength. Can I, like, rotate how it... Oh, I can! To really nice detail. Let's see. Unfortunately, Onka does not seem interested in this new machine. In that case, you should employ an animal trainer who is skilled in such things. Let's take a look to see if we can find someone suitable among the employment ads. Come and train my Onka. All right, so here's an animal trainer. And this is actually very true of what they have to do um, in real life, too, is you have to train the animals how to use some of their enrichment items. So that's an excellent detail. In the meanwhile, you have a few employees in your camp. The trainer will try to motivate the animal. Let's see if he manages to motivate Onka to use the boxing machine. Training will take a little while. It's important not to overwork the animals, otherwise they'll become too worn out. Therefore, have some patience. Alright, so let's have some patience. And get down here. And casually observe. Where'd the trainer go? Sir, you were right here a second ago. Where'd you go? I saw him run over here. Oh, he's like an invisible, he's an invisible man. That's kind of, it's like Onka's shadow now. Sir, you're concerning because you're invisible, sir. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Onka's like, nope, I'm gonna take a nap. None of this, none of this place. Look at her. Hi, beautiful. Talk about a beautiful background you've got here. I really like your home. Can I get a picture of you? No? Oh, she's lovely. And the animal trainer is still invisible. That is so funny. That is so funny. I can't see what he's doing. Onka is on the verge of starving. What? We just got an... Oh, so we get little notifications up here. Not now, Mr. Trainer. Oh my gosh, where'd you go? He's like... He's, he's vanished. I'm doing well, Onka says. So this will... Oh, wow. Look at all her stats. This will tell us... Um... Maximum age, the size she likes to live with, her gestation time, offspring, the kind of movement she really prefers. This is fascinating. All right, the animal trainer gave up. Let's let's try a training facility. Oh, is she going to come over here? Is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? Oh my gosh, even the grass has stats. All right, Onka. <gasps> She's doing it. Look at her play with it. Work up that strength. Keep your wild self totally going. Look at you go. All right, so I hope the trainer is like happy with uh, this progress, even though he's just a, a scary shadow. Yay, Onka! All right, she's doing well. We'll keep going on there. So if we fast forward a little bit, she's still using it. Is there anything else I can get her? Nope. There is a treadmill. Are we gonna train her how to use a treadmill so she can work on running endurance? No trainer shadow, she's napping. We gotta give Onka a little bit of time. So she's napping. You can choose to sell them and they have different sell values. Social matters. I don't think she has a mate. 0% mate. 
She's happy with- oh, so this will tell you if they're happy with the size of their herd or not. That is fascinating. I wonder if one of these tells you- yeah, the training level. <gasps> there we go! All right, slow it back down. Information. The colored progress bars that appear directly under the green satisfaction bar when you click on the animal show you the animal's progress in training. When all the colored progress bars are full, Uncle will be ready to join the circus, but that's not your job right now. We're not putting her in a circus, are you kidding me? The training machine has has trained Onka's strength. Now it's your time to improve. Now it's time to improve her persistence. All right, second level of training. It is indeed time. Oh my gosh, look at how big this is. All right, we're putting there over there. Check if your animal can find anything new and yeah, yeah, we did, we did. All right, all right, we managed it. The treadmill is for the second level of training. Now we need some patience until the two have completed their training program. You can see the progress in training anytime by clicking the animal and selecting the progress bar. So that's her satisfaction level. That's her attractiveness, I guess, to guess. There's her training level. So here are stats about her environment. She likes lowland ground. The temperature's good for her. The free space is good for her. She feels satisfied with the water to drink. A little bit unsatisfied with the meat, but not terribly. So interesting. So this is like getting her, she wants to run, jump, and swim. And this gets like the stats for those. Helpful information. This is so interesting because you can get so many different pieces of information. All right, so let's speed up a little bit. All right, Unka, I think we're almost done. I think she's just about ready. The trainer's still a, a creepy shadow. Let's see what everybody else is up to. I really like this building, this animal training building. Whew, it's nice. So nice. Building's employee, you can sell it, you can move it. Oh, geez, there we go. <laughs> Congratulations, Onka, the Lady Jaguar, has regained her health and is extremely strong. All the people in the camp are pleased to see how well the gorgeous animal is doing. The gatekeepers are now ready to release Onka into the wild. They have assured you that they have found a suitable spot in the Brazilian jungle, far away from the villages of humans. It is now up to you. Do you want to hand Onka over to the gatekeepers and continue on the mi next mission, or do you rather stay and spend time with her? So we're actually going to move on to the next mission so we can figure out some more of what it's like to do all of these little quests and how to run the game. But clearly there is so much in terms of detail and depth and things that you have to pay attention to. And I actually really, really enjoy that. So I'm really looking forward to trying out more of Wildlife Park 2 with you guys. We'll do some more missions. We will settle into the game. And in the future, we will probably open up some zoos just like we have in Zoo Tycoon 2 and just like we have in our wonderful Minecraft. Zudesia world. So I will see you guys later and remember everybody stay curious. Bye bye.